The topic in Word Chapter 2 is creating a research paper. Ah! No, 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 it's not so bad. Honest. You'll see. And looking here at this chapter of the book, again, you have to find it in whichever kind of book you have. Notice that we have the section headings, but this time we don't have those several pages, introductory pages at the beginning to tell you about the software because we already learned that. Going to the next page, past the objectives, which again, if you skim those, that's what's going to be in your grading rubric. So you should be sure to know you know how to do all of those things. Let's go down and look at the paper. Now this one, again, you're going to copy it. You don't write your own for this. You just copy it out of the book. Notice that it is three pages long. There's one whole page, half of which is taken up with headings and formatting. And then a page two, which isn't very long. So this isn't so bad after all, is what you might think. And then a third page, it's on a separate page, and this has the work cited. Of course, when you use official sources in an academic paper, you have to say from whence they came. So that's part of the activity that we'll learn here. I'm going to crank up the zoom a little bit more again. And what you'll learn in this chapter is about how to make a header header, not a heading, a header. This is the heading. It's the introductory information that goes on the first line of your document. The header goes up actually in the margin area of your document. Sorry about that. Goes up in the margin area and it has your last name and a space and a page number that you don't type You'll tell the computer, we'll insert a code, and then every time I get another page number, you add the page number for me. So it's important to distinguish between page numbers you enter versus page numbers the computer enters. Okay, and then as we're typing, you learn how to use parenthetical references, and you'll learn about footnotes. A footnote is a little subscript, which means above the line, little subscript number, the computer types it, you don't. And then what goes with it is down at the bottom of that page, the computer will draw a line for you and it will put the same number again for you. The computer does all that. And then after the number, you start typing and you'll type in your reference. So you'll learn how to or type in your footnote. In this case, it's part of a reference. The page two just continues. You'll learn how to make a hard page break, which is control enter. And a hard page break skips you to the next page. And the reason why you don't want to go enter, 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 enter is so that later, if you come and make a modification, you don't want all of the pages after that to start on the wrong part of the page. It'll start down the page farther. <clears throat> it looks like I keep clicking something and ending up with larger pictures, don't I? So the work cited in your English class, you'll learn the rules. You'll memorize the rules and learn how to type them by hand. But what we'll do here is we'll use this little form and you type the information in the form and then the computer does it for you. And that also correlates between the references in your paper and the work cited page so that it adds the information automatically is really kind of neat. You'll learn how to do that. Many students say they hadn't learned that before. So that's what you'll do for that, again, the textbook assignment, and then your teacher will give you additional exercises beyond that.